Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look one of the experimental feature which is being rolled out by Microsoft in Power Apps, that is PDF functions. So earlier, like when we used to create the PDF out of the screen which is being shown on the Power App, what we used to do, like we used to take a help of Power Automate to capture all the fields which we want to uh, export to PDF and actually like create one HTML then write that HTML into one file and convert that file into PDF so that was the way what we used to do to create any to generate any PDFs out of uh, Power Canvas app now we got one new feature that is PDF functions so using that PDF function we would able to directly get our PDF file and that file we can directly send into mail or with the help of Power Automate we can save it uh, in OneDrive or SharePoint. So that's what we are going to see in today's video. So let's jump to the make.powerapps.com. I'll just go to the Power Apps and I will open one of my existing app. Let me open up, let's say it's the speaker form. So let's say I, I'm having this speaker list and I wish to export this speaker list to PDF. So for that, first of all, I need to enable the experimental feature PDF generation PDF functions in my Power App. So for that, I have to go to this gear icon at the bottom, click on that, go to the upcoming feature and under the experimental feature, we would see at last that PDF function which enable the use of PDF function which allows to create PDF documents from screen gallery and containers. So this is what we are going to take a look today. So I'm just enabling that and closing it so that we can leverage PDF functions. So I'll just uh, actually, I'll just drop one of the button which would help us to write on select event. And I'll just drag this to down and name that as generate PDF. So now under this on select what we are going to do is we are going to use the PDF function so if I just go to this PDF and try typing PDF you will see I have this target and the control options so target is like what screen you would like to export as an PDF or what gallery or what component so you can simply type in that and after that, we have options like uh, what kind of mode you wish to write into the orientation, landscape versus portrait so that you can define into options. So right now, before doing that, I will just actually would like to drag one of the control on my screen which can actually enable us to view our PDF. So I will just go to again insert and we will try to type in PDF. So now you would see like PDF viewer is experimental. So I'll just drop this media control which is PDF viewer and this will enable us to view our PDF which is being exported into this area. So right now it's tied up with a sample PDF but we can tie this up with one of the variable or directly the output of this PDF. So right now what I'll do like I'll just go back to my on select and over here I will extract the PDF and set that into a variable. So I'll say like variable PDF and over here PDF function I'll use and in this I will just pass on the control, the target, target could be screen, component and I'll just close it. So now over here I have set this variable as PDF. Now this var PDF we are going to tie up with this document. So it will start showing up the preview of our screen in this area. So I'll just quickly run so that we can take a look. And now I'm clicking on the generate PDF. So it should change the view which is being there, being represented. So now you see like we are able to see what is being uh, there on the screen. So this gallery and this control buttons. So right now, because we have targeted that to screen, so that's why it's uh, displaying everything. We can target that to specific gallery. So I'll just pick this gallery one instead of this entire screen. I can bind that to gallery one. And if I just save and rerun, 
or click on this generate PDF it should just give me that export to generated PDF from that gallery so this is how we can use this we can use this PDF function and PDF viewer now the next problem or the, the solution could be we wish to send this PDF or save this PDF into OneDrive so how to do that so let's have a look how we can pass on the data the created generated PDF blog or binary data into our power automate and using a simple flow we are uploading we would upload this PDF file into our SharePoint library so that's we are going to take a look we are going to create so I'll just go back to my this on select and in this on select after that I will actually call one of the flow which I am going to write using our this uh, power automate so I'll just click on this power automate you can see like it gave me a one area where I can start creating a new flow so I'll just create a new flow and the intent is we are going to save this file the generated file into one of our SharePoint library so I'll just start from create from blank and in next step I'll be just start create file in SharePoint and you can see I can bind that to one of our SharePoint site I'll just use one of my existing SharePoint site folder path I'll just do that into repositories and file name I'll just say like ask in power apps and file content I will again say power ask in power app but I am going to modify this expression so that we can have the uh, content of the file as binary from the URI so I'll just say ask from power app so these two parameters we are going to read from power app so now as I uh, just got this file content so I need to transform so because I, I'll just uh, run once uh, that PDF generate so you would see like this create file content actually gives us a, a press uh, URI so from that URI we need to extract we need to actually get our uh, data out of it so how to do that I am going to use one of the expression I'll just copy this or remove this and go to expression and under this I'll use data to URI to binary and under this I'll pick that the content of the file as dynamic content and press ok so here I am converting or reading the binary data out of that URI which is being passed so this is we are going to write into our this flow I am just naming that as uh, save PDFs and save it now as we have created it now the next step is like we are going to call this flow or run this flow on the click of this generate PDF button so I am going to start typing in save PDF run and now it has started giving me this parameter what is expecting is file name and the file content so I'll just say file name as uh, PDF generated from power app and the file content we are going to pass the file content into this next parameter and what is that first of all use this use the JSON so that I can pass the include binary data uh, from this URI so I'll just say JSON and the variable which we have already set is where PDF and that's a URI so I'm going to include the binary data so this is how you can pass it but there is one problem like what uh, the binary data it will give it will be having the uh, double quotes double time so we need to substitute that double quotes with single quotes so for that I would be using a substitute function and with that substitute function I'll actually substitute the four double quotes with the two double quotes and that's how like we are going to get the exact binary data with proper formatted 
and which can be passed to our automate power automate and then it will be extracting the data out of that binary so now i am saving it and our flow is already there our button is already there and i am going to just run this generate pdf clicking on that and now i'll just go to my sharepoint site just to check whether we got that uh, file uploaded to our repository or not so i'll just go to the document library called repository and just scroll down so this is the file which was generated from our power automate and i'm just opening that file so it's having that calorie content so we are successful in generating one file using pdf function and uploading that file to sharepoint or onedrive you can do that and in next simple step you can send that same file as an email so if you wish to modify your flow you can just add it that and add one more step of sending this file into email so you can just simply use the send email action scroll down and use this send email with options and you can specify the name you can read that from parameter as well but i'm just leaving that as is test and the choices i picked the choices the wrong action but it's fine in the attachment i can simply have my this file name i can pick that from here and the attachment content again like the expression the same expression we did for while creating file you can just copy this scroll down come to attachment content into the expression paste it remove the curly braces and just click okay and save the flow so now when we run this flow we i will expect one email to be sent from this flow with that generated pdf so i'll just close it and we'll run it because we have modified the flow so that's why like uh, it gives for for a few seconds it gives us that error that our flows has been modified so please recheck the triggers so it, it should keep on working so i'm running it generate pdf clicking on that so it should modify the file which was there earlier and as well as send one of the emails i'll just directly go to my outlook to check that whether email is being sent or not so i got this email i have this file and if i click on this file i'll get the same exact content so that's how we can actually save this pdf file using pdf function along with one power automate and as well as send that in email so for sending email you could if you wish to directly send that uh, pdf file in email you can obviously like connect the office 365 mail connector which can send the email directly as an attachment but uh, i prefer to save the files just for the future reference so that's why i use this save pdf flow to save the file into sharepoint first then sending that to an email so that's it for today so just one last thing is that in the pdf viewer because we have set this you can very well set any of the public url of any of the pdf so let me just grab one of the public url so these are public this is, this is a file hosted on public accessibility where we can directly access this so if i just replace this url over here and just give double quotes so it will actually show the pdf why that url so it, this is the pdf but if you want to do that if you want to show the files from sharepoint or any authenticated library repository then this pdf viewer would not work directly with the url so just keep that in mind if you wish to create any of the gallery on clicking of the item it should show the preview of those pdfs from the sharepoint or onedrive it will not work onedrive it it will work like if you are if your organization is allowing the anonymous access to the files so then only the onedrive one would work but the sharepoint definitely is not going to work so just keep that in mind that it the urls the pdf has to be hosted at, at the public places public cd and somewhere like that so that it can be accessible so i think like you got the point i'm again changing that to variable pdf
All right, so we covered PDF functions, PDF viewer, and saving the file into SharePoint in this video. And if you have any other question, please feel free to drop a comment. I'll try to reach response. And if you like the video, please press the like button. That's it for today. Thank you.